Whether your favorite color is red or yellow or green or brown or blue, Joseph and his coat of many colors are coming to Dennis Morris. Joseph is taken from the Bible, it's taken from Genesis, and it's the story of a young man, one of 12 brothers, uh, his father's favorite. His 11 brothers are envious of him, and so first attempt fratricide by throwing him in a well, uh, but then later decide to make a profit, take him out of the well, sell him. He goes to Egypt, where after a brief scary time period in a jail cell, he ends up being uh, Pharaoh's favorite, and then eventually gets to avenge himself with his brothers. So it's a story about family, it's a story about uh, forgiveness, uh, and a story about triumph. And how many students are participating in the musical? If you include uh, backstage, on stage ushers, probably we are getting close to 80. After your performance in last year's Fiddler on the Roof, how did you prepare for this role? Well, I had to really take it back. You know, it's a very different character, so I had to just completely start over, you know, look at the music, look at the show, look at the character. It's not like an easy character to play, but you know, it's very, obviously very, very different than last year, so I just have to really scale it back. Now, is there anything you've done to put a bit of a personal stamp on the role? I think that's at some points I am very much like Joseph, you know, at some points in his journey, so I think a lot of me personally comes out in the role throughout parts of it. And what can audiences look forward to at opening night next week? I think just the whole thing is great. You know, we have a very strong chorus, the music sounds great, the set looks awesome. I think just the whole thing, it's an experience. Can you tell us a little bit about the musical styles of Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat? I think this is a great uh, musical for uh, anybody to come and see because there's a variety of uh, genres within the musical. So we've got some country, uh, some jazz, calypso. So it's a really entertaining musical because of that. And are students responsible for the instrumental music as well? Yes, so we have about a nine-piece uh, band uh, that is accompanying them and they've had to learn um, all, of, all of that music, but they've really risen to the challenge uh, to learn all this music. Now, Emma, I understand that the role of the narrator is being shared by four uh, different students. Does that relieve a little bit of the pressure for someone playing the role? Definitely. The part of the narrator is really demanding. She sings in all of the songs and when you're singing with the other three narrators, it just feels like you can relax a little bit and afterwards your voice isn't as tired. Julia, what has it been like working with some of the older students here at Dennis Morse? Um, working with the older students here is so much fun because they're older and they're like role models so when you see them you just kind of want to be like them and they're really funny and they're actually really nice. Elizabeth, can you tell me what your favorite part of playing the narrator is? It would definitely be singing the parts that no one else gets to sing. You're telling the story, so it's the added parts that no one else talks about or really knows, except for what you're explaining to them. Madison, as a grade 9 student, did you find it a little intimidating trying out for a musical your first year of high school? Um, definitely, because all the older kids are so good. So I thought like it would just be just so like a lot harder than it was, but everyone's just so welcoming. And so how have the students dealt with some of the racier parts of the play? We try to actually, uh, this time around we've made them perhaps a little racier than we <laughs> should have. No, they're actually quite, God bless them, uh, they are so uh, open and we, you know, we know there are grandparents in the audience so uh, we're not going to do anything, you know, Chicago-esque, but we are going, we do push it a tiny bit, just uh, for burlesque sake, for humor's sake, so, and they're very, very good. The curtain will rise on the stage at the Alumni Theatre when Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat premieres Wednesday, May 8th. For ticket information, please contact the school. I'm Katie Jones reporting for The Source.